Hey everyone, it's Kira here, and I'm going to be teaching you about QR codes. I'm going to show you how to create them and how to add them into your edits or a project QR. So first, what you're going to do is show you how to create a project QR and how to add one. So to create one, you're going to go into your private projects and find an edit that you have saved. Now I'm just going to do this one because it's quite simple. So I'm going to click the three dots and click create QR code. Now, depending on how big the edit is, it will take longer to load. So depending on how long it takes, you might have to wait a bit. But since this one isn't too long of an edit, it's just a couple transitions, should be a lot faster to load, which I should be able to create a QR code from that. So we'll just wait, it's almost done. And it's just finishing up now. Okay. There we go. So now you can name it what you want. So this is just a phone transition. So I'm going to just save it as phone rotation tower because it's like a tower. And you click done. Now you have to click save and now it's saved to your camera roll. So now this is where you can send it to your friends, create a giveaway, you can share it as you like. Now, where to find these QR codes is, and to add them as a project, is you click, go into private projects and you click the QR code here. Then you click the QR code, edit project, and there you go. You have the project right here which you can go into and edit yourself as to how you like. So now I'm gonna show you how to create element QR codes and how to add them. So I'm already into a project and what you're gonna do is create a transition or anything you like. So I'm gonna write a text and animate it. So I'm going to change the font I'm going to resize it and I'm going to do a spin transition. Spin, zoom in. So just play around with it, create the transition that you like until you're happy with it. And I'm just going to do a plain zoom in with a rotation. Okay. So now once you've got your transition, what you're going to have to do is save as an element. You can click create QR code and then save as an element through there, but it doesn't really matter. I just like clicking save as element. So now you're going to add a tag. So this is what people, when people go in the element library, they can see, search different things, and then this should show up. So if I write text and my name, my username, and I'll search QR. Make sure you tick allow others to use and then click save. Now you go create QR code and then name it what you like. So this is what you can send to friends, share to who you like. So I'm just gonna name it text transition and then my username. Even though it does already say it here, I'll still just write it and click save. Now, like the project QR, you're going to click plus, element library, and then QR code, and then apply it through there. Then you click add to project. And there you've got it. I'll hide the other one just so you don't see it. And you've got it into your edit. So I hope it was very helpful for you guys and can't wait to see all your edits. So thank you for watching.